my name is Eva Fabian, and my essential question for the senior project was, what are the necessary steps for restoring school garden beds and making sure they remain functional after I graduate? Uh, so my timeline for this presentation will be my goals, which I'll address to my mentors, um, why I chose this project and the purpose, and all the hard work I put in, which is repairing the garden beds, starting garden clubs, starting seats indoors, and then transferring them outdoors. The results, which are the successes of my project and the failures, and also just some personal reflections on it, and then future plans for how this project could be continued or how it could be expanded on. So the first step in this is my plan, which was from May of last year to early August of last year. The purpose of this was to have success where others have failed, which um, Ms. Cheney has tried to repair the garden beds a lot of times, but due to, at the end of the year, the dissections and all the finals, she's never really been able to successfully do it. Um, and then also have some post-graduation care, because again, these have been taking care of in the past, but because of people leaving the school or graduating, they no one's looking after them now. Um, and then I also wanted to bring life to our community and the courtyard and to make it a more enjoyable place to be. Um, and then again, the gardens were in really rough shape when I got them. There were a lot of weeds growing out of them, or trees growing out of some of them. Um, the soil was really dry, so I wanted to repair that and make it um, easier to grow in. And then I chose this because home gardens are enjoyable. I have had home gardens for the past few summers. Um, that is a tomato I grew. It's a little misshapen, but it looks okay. Um, here are pictures of the garden beds before I got to them. You can see on the left, um, that was like a really big tree growing out of it. Um, we had these branch cutters. And then on the right, it was just like a really big, dead um, weed. And again, we had these branch cutters because it formed some pretty solid roots. And then on the bottom, you can see it was just really overgrown with green, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but we wanted to make sure that they were all had a clean palette for planting. My mentors for this project, I have two. Um, my first one was Arthur Fraser. He is a member of the Mills Garden Club. His wife is actually the co-founder of the club. Um, he has also had previous work with the school, which is how I got in contact with him. He worked with Mallory Doyle and her Girl Scout troop to build raised garden beds at Clyde Brown, or it used to be Clyde Brown. Um, he's been a gardener for 50 plus years, and then we communicated through email and later on in person. Um, and then my second mentor was my dad, Mark Fabian, which is the picture of him. Um, I chose him because he was a landscaper for 10 plus years, um, as well as having a personal garden in our backyard for the last 10 years. Um, we obviously met in person because we lived together. Um, and then he helped me before I asked him to be my mentor by helping me repair the beds, and it just felt like the next logical step to ask him to be my mentor. Um, my second step in this was all the hard work I put in, which was through August of last year through May of this year. First step in this was repairing the beds. Um, I bought soil from the Mills Transfer Station, which is what Art suggested to me. It was free to get, so I just went there, filled it in the back of the pickup truck, brought it to the school, and used wheelbarrows to put it in all of the beds. Um, I also got rid of all the weeds and tree sort of things in the beds. Um, I got them from my dad. We used hoes to get rid of all the little weeds, and then branch cutters to get rid of the bigger trees. And then leaves, one of my research reports explained that getting leaves during the fall and cutting them up and then putting them on the garden helped keep the soil warmer during the winter for bulb vegetables and break down into nutrients over time, which would help plants grow more successfully in the beds in future years. And then I also chose to plant down landscaping fabric, which helps keep leaves down during the summer and keep the soil safe throughout the winter. This is the suggestion of my father to do. And the garden club actually helped me put down the landscaping fabric. Here's a picture of before, so you can see a really big weed growing out of it. And then after, they look much better, I think. Um, so garden club, I had, I um, went to the club fair for this. I had a poster board and a um, piece of paper where I asked for everyone's name, their emails, and what uh, lunch they had on F days. I ended up getting 13 signatures, and well, not everyone showed up. It was nice to see that there was still an interest in this club, maybe for future years. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bigelow, for encouraging me to take the pictures. Um, and then I'd also like to thank Ms. Cheney because she offered to be the advisor for the club. She let us use her room and gave me advice on what I could do for the club. And then one of our first meetings, Garden Club helped me lay down the landscaping fabric on the beds. And I also want to reach out to Environmental Action. Um, I reached out to them a few times. 
and ask them if they wanted to take care of the beds, and while they politely declined, I still appreciated getting to know them a little. Um, so first of them, or one of the things I did was plant full vegetables, garlic, and daffodils. I planted these in November, and then they stayed dormant under the soil throughout the winter and bloom in spring without me having to do anything. Um, they do this by retaining nutrients in their bulbous shell, um, which just allows them to stay safe. Then, indoor planting, um, I got seed starter cups from Home Depot, um, and I had to replace the soil because at first the soil that it came with was really dry and wouldn't absorb any moisture. The water would just pool on top for days, um, but once I replaced the soil, they worked out really great. So in March, I planted mint, tomatoes, chrysanthemums, and verbascum. Chrysanthemums and verbascum are flowers. Um, and then in April, I planted squash, marigolds, and lettuce. Then on May 5th, I transferred the plant outside during the senior showcase. Um, I directly planted strawberries, carrots, and pumpkins because those seeds are perfect to go in the ground and then will bloom over summer, or like pumpkins will bloom late in fall. Um, otherwise, I just put the seed cups in. Um, I cut through the landscaping fabric using a knife and then dug a hole about two inches deep for each of them and then planted the seeds with the seed cups and then covered them lightly with uh, topsoil. Here are the beds that I ended up doing. Um, I did two beds of just daffodils. I had squash and marigolds in one, garlic and strawberries in another, tomatoes and carrots in one, and then pumpkins and lettuce. Pumpkins and lettuce weren't my first choice, um, but mint ended up not sprouting, um, but they worked well together. All these plants were chosen because they aid each other in growing, um, which was very good to know. And then you can see in the middle, I just have a few pumpkin seeds um, in the hole. So now the results of my project, which was from late April to now. The growth and survival of all the different seeds. The garlic did not end up growing. Um, by the time I got there, there was one long root growing out of each of the bulbs, um, but it was dead and shriveled up and brown. So I'm not totally sure what happened, but I'm guessing it was because of a really warm winter. It grew and then a frost came and killed it. Um, yeah, those worked out great. Those bloomed and bloomed beautifully. It looked like all the ones I planted ended up working. Um, lettuce really worked. It was a little small by the time I transferred it, but I think it will continue to grow in the beds and get better. The mint, none of the mint seeds grew. I'm guessing it was just a bad batch of seeds because I planted a bunch of seeds um, and none of them ended up growing. So I'm guessing it was just the seeds weren't great. Tomatoes, all of those worked. It seemed like all of the seeds I planted came up. Um, marigolds, again, it seemed like all of them came up perfectly. Squash, I think squash was probably one of the biggest successes. It had really strong roots and really big leaves, so it seemed to work out really great. Um, <coughs> transferring it into the garden really easy. And then for base gum, none of it grew. And for sandalongs, I had about two that grew, and I felt like it wouldn't make sense to only put two in the beds, so I ended up not transferring them into the beds. Some successes would be that the beds are in much better shape. Um, they're set up to have the seeds survive during the summer and continue to grow. Um, and then I also found a bunch of research for the future for whoever chooses to take on this project after I'm gone. Failures, obviously only about 50% of the seeds sprouted, which wasn't really anything I could avoid because I planted numerous amounts of each seed, so it's not like just one cup didn't survive. Um, I think it just had to do with a bad batch of seeds, and by the time I realized that, there wasn't really time to start more seeds. Um, garden club, it never really took off. I didn't have anything for us to be doing during the winter. And then by the time the spring came around, no one was really interested in joining the club. Um, and then watering, watering the gardens has been really difficult. I've had to go into Miss Haggerty's room um, to get the water because there's not a direct water source out there. <coughs> Just a personal question. I'm overall really happy with that turned out. I really like being able to see my hard work actually have a success. Um, it's really nice to go out there and be like, oh, so this is the result of all the hard work I put, and I can see it directly in the plants. Um, and then I also gained a relationship with my mentor, Art, and the Mills Garden Club, which I think is a great opportunity for the future. If I was interested in joining it, I formed some great connections there, and Art was a really great guy through all this. And then I helped bring some life to our school, and in the courtyards, I went out the other day, and saw a lot of people sitting out there, and it just felt really nice to look around and see the life growing around them. And then the future plans, which would be from now to the future, um, so I found three possible caretakers for this. Ms. Streck offered to water the gardens in the future um, until the end of school. She has a class that she thinks would be really interested in 
helping the Iron Animal today, which I'm very thankful for. Um, Amelia Bill Zeus explained that she might be in this club, or taking over the club, or taking over the gardens, during the club fair. And then Troy Blanchett also expressed interest in maybe possibly taking over this for his senior project. So I emailed both Amelia and Troy with a bunch of information about how to care for the clubs, as well as all of the information I found during this project. What's next? I think we can maybe have a compost bin at our school. They're super easy to start. You don't have to do anything. You can just put scraps in there. And then we could use that for the beds. Um, my mentor also suggested maybe birdhouses during the winter for the club to stay intact and have something to be able to do um, during the winter and then put them out in the courtyards. And then also figuring out what to do with the crops because right now they're kind of just there for anyone who wants them to go and take them. But I think figuring out a way to better use them in the community could be great. Some final thank yous to Arthur Fraser and Mark Fabian for being my mentors. Ms. Cookies and Ms. Boise for being my in-school STEAM scholars mentors. Ms. Cheney for being a STEAM scholar mentor and also advising the club. Ms. Phil Brown for, just, or for reading over all my essays and helping me through this project. Austin Jerome for helping me repair the beds. The Garden Club members for their continuation and helping me and filling up all the meetings. And Mrs. Streck for offering to water the gardens now.